Let's go to the next one, an interesting one. And this is the information that you have. You are told that you have an asset with a cost price of 800,000 Rand, right? It has an accumulated depreciation of, um, I think we've got an extra zero here. Let me just check. Let me just correct it for you. It has an accumulated depreciation of 700,000 Rand. Okay, got it? And you are told that depreciation is written off at 20% on cost, right? Calculate the depreciation for the year. Right. Okay. Now watch this carefully. Step number one. What are we going to do? Yes, we're going to use um, art. We're going to use art. Here's my calculation. Uh, let's just pick up that one. Art. Right? The amount that we're calculating our depreciation on. Uh, let's go for uh, that. will be perfect. I'm sure you can see that. Okay. Now, we're using art. The amount of my depreciation. Remember, the cost price was 800,000. 800,000 over 1, which is my amount. My rate was 20 over 100. And my time, they said was for the entire year, was 12 over 12. And if you do this calculation, I can do it. It's going to give me a figure of uh, 160,000. Check it out on your calculators. Let's check it out on the calculator. Let's go for it. It's 800, 1, 2, 3, times 20%. And the figure is 160,000. So we, once again, guys, do the calculation, calculation on your calculators. Very important. Okay. You've now ascertained that the depreciation that you need to write off is 160,000 Rand. Okay. Watch this here now. If my cost, not if, my cost price is 800,000, right? My accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year was 700,000. You recall from that information? I now calculated the current year's depreciation to be 160,000. So watch, plus 160,000 will give me a total of 860,000. Clear? Watch where I'm going to. Like I said early on, this is extremely important. I now take my cost price minus my accumulated depreciation to give me my carrying value. 800 minus 860 will give me a negative 60,000. Is that possible? Think about it. Is that possible? Can I say the asset has a negative value? And the answer is a definite no. Now, what do you do in an instance like this year when you come across a calculation of this nature? What do you do? Panic? No, guys. Watch. Very simple. If you get a situation like this here, all that you do is ignore the depreciation that you have calculated. That means don't take it into account, right? What do we do? Take your 800,000, right? You know you have an accumulated of 700,000. So you want to be left with a carrying value of one rand. Because by definition, an asset is something that has value. So you can't also make it zero, right? So what are we going to do? In this case here, the maximum depreciation that you can write off is you've got an accumulated of 700,000. You've got a cost price of 800,000. Take 800,000 minus the 700,000 will give you a figure of 100,000. Minus one rand will give you your answer that you're looking for, 99,000. 999 rand. This therefore means the maximum depreciation that you can write off is 99,999 rand, which will then give you an accumulated of 
799, and you can clearly see your cost price minus your accumulated depreciation will give you the carrying value of one rand. Hope you understand that because it's important, right? This is where the one rand depreciate, well, the one rand carrying value comes about when you've realized that the amount of depreciation that you've calculated is too much. Can you see? You recall the 160,000? Therefore, what do we do? Ignore it, go back and say, right, maximum I can write off on this particular asset is 99,999 rand. Therefore, you will debit depreciation with 99,999 rand and credit accumulated depreciation with 9,999 rand. And therefore, your new accumulated figure, accumulated depreciation, will be the 799,999 rand. Got that, guys? Brilliant.